Hey, Justin Boyson here, Prosperity Prospecting. Uh, today we're going to run some of the uh, dirt that I brought back from the last trip to uh, Colorado. And uh, we're going to be running it through the Gold Hog today. We're going to use both mats. Um, of course, uh, the scrubber mat is at the end with a much less uh, pitch, um, but it cleans it up, gets a lot rid of a lot more cons. So, um, so I want to raise you guys up, and I've already started running it. going to raise you guys up and uh, let you guys watch here for a little bit. Thanks for watching. So when we know our material is fine gold, I just try to do a consistent, uh, slow feed. This material is dry, so it makes it a little bit easier to do that. Um, but you can see the mat from end to end is turning uh, the color of mud because um, it's level, it's the right pitch, and the right feed. So it's important to feed it at, at a good, consistent rate. And you'll notice here shortly, every once in a while, I'll let it run for just a second to let it go ahead and clear all the way out, um, like I'm doing right there. Then I'll go to the next spoon. Okay? So just be, just remember to be consistent in your feed. Uh, don't overfeed it. Don't feed it too quick. Um, but you can get a little bit aggressive with this gold hog. It does a magnificent job of catching the material. So I've already ran about uh, maybe a gallon before I turned the camera on just to get everything set up properly. Um, so you guys seen it run. So what I'll do is, is I'm gonna pause this video and I'll pick you guys back up when we're down to uh, uh, the scrubber mat. I'll let you see a little bit of that. And then after that, we'll pause it and uh, I'll let you guys see me pan it start to finish. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so now we have ran the whole five gallons through the aggressive mat. And we did that at here so we did that at about 12 and a half degrees now we're going to put the water restrictor in to slow the water flow down we're also going to put the uh non-aggressive mat the scrubber mat in here and uh we'll reduce that pitch down to about five degrees or so so um, i'm going to take this apart real quick and let y'all watch that and then we'll move on to the next one One of the first things you want to do is concrete that material in the mat by just tilting it and letting all the water run off. That helps all that stick in the mat. And I do see some fine lines of gold in there. Hoping there's some bigger pieces as well. But this particular place I got this dirt from is that if there is gold in it, it's going to be a huge bonus. Uh, so. I'm hoping that there is enough gold in it to make it worthwhile. There's a whole lot of this dirt uh, on the dirt. So it's easy to get. We're going to go straight into our mat. Get you down here. And I'll roll that up. Get good and clean. Nice and clean. Okay. Done with that mat for now. Okay, I'm going to shut you guys down for a minute as I get the other mat ready and get the dirt grease and everything set. And I'll turn you back on. Thanks for watching. 
Okay, so what we've done now is we've uh, put the uh, scrubber mat on here. The water, you can see how quick it gets dirty when you're running five gallons of dirt. Um, we changed that pitch dramatically. It's at about five and a half degrees. Um, we've slowed the water down, and uh, so we're ready to start feeding it. I'll let you guys see that for just a second. Not much different than what you saw earlier, but um, just to give you guys an idea. So uh, before I do that, I'm gonna dump this water out and I want you guys to see how little materials left after we run that through there. So after we run it through the aggressive mat, that's all that's left. It, it cuts out a lot of panning. So let's get this ran through and uh, so we'll see what we got here in the uh, Okay, so we're at the tail end of this. Um, we'll get that last little bit in there and we'll let it run for a second and then we'll clean her up. That's all that's left. Okay, so we'll see what we get. I'll see you guys on the panning video here in just a few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and get the mat off the gold hog. We're gonna use the Garrett uh, gold trap uh, sluice, or uh, pan, sorry about that. Um, so I'll be right back with the mat. All right, here we go. I just put it in a pan. Just gotta be careful, super easy to lose it if they're not careful to see the pan. All right, she looks clean. Let's get it painted out and see if we got anything. This will be a very nice surprise if there's much in here. I like the color of it so far. Looks like there might definitely be some fine. I don't know if you, get, you guys can see that. I'm a little more gentle after I run it through the gold hog because it does a good job of getting rid of about 90% of the waste. Probably even more than that, actually, probably about 95%. So I don't want to wash any good stuff out. You see the color start to change, getting down to the better stuff. Definitely being more careful now. One more time and we'll see what we got. Okay, go as far as I want to go. All right, I'll tell you what, that whole pile looks like a whole bunch of microfine gold. Big old chunk of silver right there, big chunk of silver. I'm gonna pan this back just to see if there's any bigger stuff in there. I'm seeing a bunch more silver come to the surface. Um, but I'm gonna smelt every bit of this because there's a lot of fine gold in that pan, a measurable amount of fine gold in that pan. So. Uh, I'm going to speed this up 
just to see if there's any big stuff in there. But again, we're going to smelt this all, so we're not going to lose any. With this much fine gold in it, probably what I will do is all the cons that are in there, I'll probably run it through the gold strike just to uh, capture all that we can so that I can get a true measurement on that five gallons to know if it's worth going back and mining that. But I can tell you right now it is. But I want true, true numbers. I want to know what to expect when I go in. That way I know if my equipment's doing what it's supposed to do. If, if I know the math, then I got to, you know, the equipment to, to me and the equipment after that. So I don't see any big chunks of gold, a couple of big chunks of silver, um, and lots and lots of fine gold. So with that said, um, I appreciate you guys' uh, support. I appreciate you guys being on them videos with me. And I try to get better. Uh, I'm not the best at it. I know that. But I, I love what I do, and I hope you guys love watching it And because uh, we're going to continue to do it. So I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.